In today's video, we're going to discuss an object so deadly that standing next to it could kill you. In fact, years ago, if you spent only 30 seconds near it, you would become extremely dizzy and fatigued to a dangerous level. After two to three minutes, your cells would have began to hemorrhage, and by the time you were at least five minutes standing next to it, well, you were dead. What the heck is the elephant's foot? Well, to completely understand, let's learn a bit more about where and why it exists. On April 26, 1986, in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of Pripyat in the north of the Ukrainian SSR in the Soviet Union, a team ran a safety test meant to measure the ability of the steam turbine to power the emergency feed water pumps of a nuclear reactor in the event of a simultaneous loss of external power and a major coolant leak. Now I know that was a lot of technical jargon, but what you should know is they were performing a test. During this test, several things went horribly wrong, which led to steam explosions and the melting of the number four reactor core. The meltdown and explosions ruptured the reactor core and destroyed the reactor building and was followed by an open air reactor core fire that lasted until May 4th, 1986. During the fire, airborne radioactive contaminants were released and deposited onto other parts of the USSR and Europe. Many people lost their lives and were exposed to deadly radiation poisoning. In response, a 6.2 mile exclusion zone was created 36 hours after the accident and 49,000 people were evacuated. Later, the zone was increased to 19 miles and an additional 68,000 people were evacuated. Between May and November 1986, a shelter structure made of concrete and cinder block called the sarcophagus was constructed to confine the radioactive materials within reactor number four. The sarcophagus was built under extreme conditions with extremely high levels of radiation and very strict time constraints. It was slightly successful at confining radioactive contamination as they began monitoring the destroyed nuclear reactor on a regular basis. In 2016, a huge structure called the New Safe Confinement, or NSC, was built beside the original sarcophagus before being moved into place over the initial shelter structure to help contain the radioactivity. The new safe confinement was designed to prevent the release of radioactive contaminants, protect the reactor from external influence, facilitate the disassembly and decommissioning of the reactor, and prevent water intrusion. It was designed with the primary goal of confining the radioactive remains of Reactor 4 for the next 100 years. So, where does the most deadly thing in the world come into this story? Well, it's called the elephant's foot. The elephant's foot is one small part of a much larger mass of corium and other materials that formed underneath reactor number four of the Chernobyl power plant during the meltdown in 1986. During the meltdown, the corium or molten lava consisting of parts of the nuclear reactor core, fission products, nuclear fuel, and control rods melted through oozed through pipes and melted through concrete before the radioactive lava finally cooled and solidified. 
The blob weighs approximately 2.2 tons, and it's shaped like an elephant's foot. It even has wrinkles, thus the name. It was discovered in December of 1986. Even though the danger has decreased over time due to the decay of radioactive components, it is extremely radioactive and still dangerous to this day. After the disaster, they also discovered a new deadly blue substance that they named Chernobylite. It is a crystalline compound that consists of zirconium and uranium. So just how dangerous is the elephant's foot? Well, to start with, a chest x-ray that you get at the doctor gives about 0.2 millisieverts of radiation. When the elephant's foot was initially discovered, radioactivity near it was approximately 8,000 to 10,000 grunkens, or 80 to 100 grays per hour or 3.7 million chest x-rays. This dose would kill an adult human in 300 seconds or five minutes if you were standing three feet away. It would be impossible for any living cell to inhabit this area, even on a microbial level. As I mentioned, it isn't quite as dangerous as it once was, however, it is still considered very dangerous. Today, if you stood next to the elephant's foot for an extended period, you would be extremely tired and dizzy. After long exposure, you could experience damage to your organs and cells. It still could be one of the most dangerous pieces of waste the world has ever seen. Some believe that it still poses a bigger threat. Even though the area is cleared around the old facility, the NSC is in place and there is monitoring and research going on, the blob of corium is still slowly melting through the concrete floor. And that's where disaster could strike again. Under reactor number four, there is groundwater. Some people believe that there is a possibility that the elephant's foot could eventually melt through the concrete floor and reach the groundwater, which would cause another explosion and spread radiation through the area and into the water supply. However, many people say that these fears have proven unfounded and it is no longer a risk. So how long until the area around Chernobyl the exclusion zone becomes habitable again. Scientists think that the exclusion zone area around the reactor site will become safe for humans to live in after at least 3,000 years. However, the reactor site may not be habitable again for at least 20,000 years, according to a report in 2016. Hopefully, this disaster will remain the largest nuclear meltdown in history and we will learn from our mistakes. And hopefully, the elephant's foot will remain the most dangerous piece of trash and eventually not be dangerous anymore. Let me know what you thought of this story in the comments and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more freaky stories and content.